Hello everyone, this is a type ultra from Onyx Books. So one of its defining feature is the camera from the back. So it's a protruded camera, so it's uh, quite rare on e-ink tablets. So does it justify to have this? Um, so let's see, let's find out. Um, the only use of this camera is to scan documents. So I prepare some documents here to test to see how it scanned, how it um, uh, recognized the text, and uh, how it could be used in different scenarios. So the first document I prepared is just a book. It's an English book and it's all text. The layout, the typesetting is relatively simple. So I use this camera to take a picture of it. Okay, maybe I used the wrong orientation, so I'll do it again. So I take another picture, maybe I want to delete the previous one. Can I do that? Okay. Okay, now it's only the new picture. Um, I, should I make some edits to it? Like just to crop out the part with the text? Or maybe I should, uh, later on I should just try with the raw photo. Okay, so I do this to make it easier for the OCR. Okay, and uh, what should we do? Should save maybe? How do save it? Okay, here. Okay, so this will be the image, and uh, next. Then we could uh, have a lot of options here. And uh, one of them is OCR is to get the text out of this image. So is it a very slow process? OK, relatively fast. It's, it, it's not unlimited. You have maybe 10 times a day. And this this one recognition, one page, counts as one time. So I can recognize 10 pages a day. Is, is that correct? Um, I think the accuracy is quite nice. So the text on the book already turned to a new, a new line, and it will know that it's a continuous sentence. And wow, it's, I'm impressed. So some of the symbols are not, you know, the blank space and the parentheses are not recognizably, recognized perfectly, but the text are okay. Most of the uh, materials, you know, paragraphs, it will start a new paragraph. And uh, yeah, not bad. You can freely select them. You can select all, you can copy paste. You can also share, I'm not sure. Maybe you can email them. You can upload to a uh, online cloud drive, something. Yeah, you can Bluetooth. I have the Google Drive installed, so you can upload to Google Drive. Let's see how it works. Okay, nice, nice. I think it was just a copy the whole thing, create a new document, maybe a Google Doc, and uh, let's have a look. So the text will be uploaded to your Google Drive. I believe uh, Dropbox, OneDrive should all work. We need more testing on that, but uh, in this case it works okay with Google.
Yeah, so let's have another try. Maybe this time I'll do multiple pages. What about three, four pages in a row? So, because I noticed that when I take picture, you can yeah, continue to take pictures. Okay, I'll take another page. Yeah, one more. Okay, now we have three pages. Let's see, can I just uh, have a single text recommendation and uh, recognize all the text from these three pages? I hope so. But that doesn't make sense, right? So if I just take the entire book and I, j I can just uh, one recognition, what about the 10 times a day quota? Uh, I think it's only working on one page because there's a page number there. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's working one page at a time. But uh, what's the point of taking multiple photos? So can I, you know, upload the text from these three pages to a Google Doc? Well, this is shared to Note. You just uh, share the photo to Note. You didn't share the text to the Note. Interesting. You can export to PDF. Uh, okay. Huh? What is this? Oh, what? What is this? I don't know. Some texts are recognized and in exported PDF, but most of them just don't look right. So, and th there are three pages. Okay, they export the three photos to a three page PDF file, but uh, it's all messed up. I'm um, not sure what they're thinking about. Okay, this is about the first book. Then I have a Chinese book here. It's also all text, really simple. So, because I'm using the um, English system, system language, and let's see if we could recognize other languages. Sorry, I only have these two languages documents at my home, so let's see if Chinese works. Wow, nice. Well, I, I am impressed. It's, it's working. It's working pretty nicely. Okay, so you don't need to, you know, change the language engine something. It seems to work for at least English and Chinese. So, yeah. Okay. So here is a printed document and is more complex in layout. I'll make it easy. I'll just to try to capture the parts in the in the box, in the text box, mainly is the, the abstract. So let's see whether that will work. So you have something. You have something nicely printed and you know your target text. So you can yeah crop that out and recognize it. Maybe share it in an email or upload to Google. Let's see whether we can do that. Okay, next. I'm not sure how it works with those box. Okay, I think it, yeah, it works. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. 
Yeah, this is not a gimmick, I would say. It's actually useful. Definitely uh, the UI could be improved, but um, it's, it's useful. Yeah. So let's share it. Okay, does it work? Uh, maybe I need to select before sharing. Share to notes. I'm not sure what will come to this notes. Not sure. Not the image, not the text. I'll try to share this text to Google Drive. Let's see if that works. What about create? Yeah, just manually create a new Google Drive or any app where you can type in the text and you just copy paste to the work. Wow. Okay, it's not bad, not bad. So if I have a keyboard, have a mouse, that would work better. Okay, I just take a photo, crop the image, select the part that I want, have a optical text recognition, copy the text, and paste it to wherever I want. Okay, it is useful, I can see. So the last test would be a much more difficult, maybe this is too difficult, there are too many equations, figures. I just want to say this is a two column paper which is very common and uh, see how it deals with it. Um, not confident with those equations and uh, figures tables. Let's, let's try this page. This is the easiest one I think. Yeah, let's just see how it handles this two column layout and uh, the occasion, you know, equations uncommon symbols. Take a photo. I'm not sure about the focusing here. It's not very easy to focus and uh, to know whether you have the correct focus on the e-ink relatively slow screen. Uh, yeah, I don't think I did it right in the first attempt. Let's try it again. Okay, is it better? Mm, can't tell, but let's just give it a go. Okay. I didn't do any cropping, I just uh, recognized. And uh, well, it, it seems to work pretty nicely, actually. It uh, missed one word here, I think. But it definitely know that the left column should be recognized first. Okay, the equations are as expected messed up, but uh, the text are okay. Yeah, this is quite complex text. Yeah, it works okay. And let's see how it handles the end of the left column. Okay. Okay. Mm. Wow, nice, nice. It uh, it did a good job in recognizing the two column layout. Not bad. Okay, so I can see it's definitely useful for scanning documents and text recognized the, uh, the text in it. 
and if it is pure text, pure, clear, printed English, Chinese, or other languages, it definitely works relatively okay. Yeah, I would say it's not a gimmick; is is useful, and if the UI, the workflow is optimized, it will be a relatively good feature, very handy. Yeah, I hope they would have a you know paid subscription like unlimited、uh, OCR a day, not like ten times. What does that even mean? Okay. If I don't use for months, can I accumulate my you know ten times a day? Okay, so this is the review of the scanning document functionality. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.